This is Scott. I'm a broker associate with Hunt Realty Group. Periodically, I get calls from people that want to know what's being developed in Northport. You have some buildings that are going up, and maybe you want to know what type of property is actually going in there, whether it's going to be some kind of a housing project or whether it's going to be some other type of development, commercial property type. And I thought I would just show you how to find this out yourself because it's pretty simple in Northport. Northport has a mapping system and it lists all the properties that have been approved for development based on filing applications. I'll put a link to the site under the video and at the end of the video. As you can see on the page that's shown here, you can click on any of these markers and it'll tell you what's being developed. I found that the best way to use this map is to increase the size. Here's the plus button over here. Zoom into the area that you're looking for information about. When you find the location that you want specifically, click on the number. Once you clicked on this number, you're going to see a pop-up box over here on the middle of the screen in the right, and it'll give you some information. It's a little tough to use it, the scrolling. It's not a very big box. You could expand it, but it's only going to give you the image that's linked to the description. If you scroll down, all the way down to the bottom, you'll see these are numbered 1, 2, 3, etc., all the way up. Let's say you wanted to find more information about Racetrack. Then the best way to find out more information about it is to actually Google the address or the project name. So I would take this address, I would put it into Google, and I'd see what other information there may be about it. The other way that you could use the mapping system, you could shrink this down to get to the area within Northport that you're most interested in looking at. I'm going to shrink it down even more. All right, let's say we wanted to look at this general area over here. Now that we've shrunk it down, we see what's over here. We could click 23. We know it's going to be a dollar store in this particular case. Let's say you kept clicking and you went to 32. And it gives you, again, more information is going to be here. Also, avoid using the back button. When you use the back button in this mapping system, it doesn't really take you back to where you are. My experience has always been that I kind of have to start over when I use it. Anyway, that's how you generally get an idea of what's there. It's not the most convenient mapping system to use, but it will give you your basic information that you may be looking for. And it'll save you some calls and inquiries online that you might not need to make.